Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most honored guests. Our theme today of travel fits in perfectly with the speech that I had planned for today. You see, many people go to exotic places. They'll go to Easter Island. They'll go someplace that they've always heard about and they've always wanted to go and that's their vacation. There are other people that go to see bizarre things. They go to see the biggest ball of twine in the world. <laughs> What's that all about? But that's what people like. More conventional thinking is that a vacation is your time to relax. It's your time to get away from it all. It's your time to be yourself. For me, conventional thinking means going to a convention. <laughs> there are so many great conventions out there, I could go to one every weekend of the year and still miss a few of them. There's wonderful conventions like the SEMA show in Las Vegas where you get to see all of the latest electronic goodies. <laughs> but today, what I'm going to talk to all of you about is having some conventional thinking of your own. I want all of you to join me at a Toastmasters convention. This week, Starting on Wednesday night in Palm Desert, California, we're going to have about 2,500 Toastmasters from around the world coming together for our international convention. Now you may think, well, okay, we're in 105 countries. We've got all these thousands of Toastmasters, but it's mostly just going to be Americans. Let me take you back to my very first convention. It was in Rio, Nevada. Tough place to go, but somebody had to do it. One of the things that they have for the first timers is a reception where it's just the first timers. The international president comes in and talks to us, and then it's just mingle and meet. Not being the type that it was really into the exotic, I chose a couple of ordinary people, and I said, hi, I'm Mike Campbell from Phoenix, Arizona. They said, hi, gave me their names, and said, we're from the Lesser Antilles. The other question being, where is that? At a Toastmasters convention, you can literally meet people from all over the world. Guess what, they're all Toastmasters. So they all like to talk. You can find out about customs in all parts of the world. You can find out about the global reach of Toastmasters when we have the parade of flags. We have flag carriers from each of the countries that's represented in Toastmasters International and we parade all of the flags up onto the stage until it is simply a sea of flags. That's what you realize. This is an international organization. Now, I can hear what you're all saying, but my international convention, that's expensive to go to. Well, yes it is. I won't lie to you. Registration is expensive. It's always a resort. The hotels are expensive. This one I get to drive to, so that's not expensive. But when you've got to fly there, that's expensive. But hey, it's vacation. Why not? So you're saying, well, why are you telling us about this? That's not something that all of us can do. But wait, you can. You see, there's not just the international convention, we also have our convention for District 3. District 3 is the state of Arizona. It's us! 
These conventions are, to use Dave Riker's favorite words, obtainable. Our next convention is November 5th through 7th in wonderful Tucson, Arizona at the Airport Holiday Inn. More information will be coming later. If you decide you want to go to the entire convention, you want to go to the Friday night dinner of the Steve Toastmaster ceremony and the evaluation contest, all of the educational programs on Saturday, Saturday lunch, Saturday dinner, the Saturday speech contest, the humorous contest finals, and the Sunday morning leadership brunch. All of that costs you a mere $115. All those meals, all of those events, it's just a Tucson. Toastmasters conventions are fun, but we also get business done. Our state convention, the District 3 convention, we have our speech contests at the district level, and we elect officers. We also do the business of the district. Guess what? They can't spend any money unless we tell them to. <laughs> At the International Convention, we're electing our international officers, international directors. Our vice presidents, our president of Toastmasters International itself, are all being elected. <laughs> if we are not there, If we are not making our voices heard, if we are not having our own bits of conventional thinking, we're leaving it to somebody else. I don't know about you. I like having my voice heard. And I hope that all of you take the next opportunity you have to attend a convention. Madam Tell